Rory McIlroy and his PGA Tour comrades are set to discover the size of their financial reward today, Wednesday, for turning down Live Golf. Some on the PGA, including McIlroy, have resisted the lucrative offers from the Saudi-backed Live Golf since its inception last year. Many of these loyal players have been vocal about deserving compensation for not jumping ship to live. And it seems their calls have been heeded with a whopping $1.2 billion investment deal struck with strategic sports group SSG earlier in January. SSG, which counts the Liverpool owners Fenway Sports Group among its members, has joined forces with the PGA Tour to form a profit driven venture aimed at securing the tour's future against the competitive edge and deep pockets of live. A key feature of this partnership is an equity plan that will allocate shares in PGA Tour Enterprises to the players. On Wednesday, the 193 eligible PGA Tour golfers will be briefed on the value of their initial share grants by the PGA. The tour's top performers over the last five seasons, such as Scotty Scheffler, McElroy, Patrick Cantley, and seasoned veterans like Tiger Woods are expected to receive the lion's share of membership units. These units will vest across the next eight years, providing a strong financial incentive for players to remain loyal to the PGA Tour and resist the temptations of joining Liv. It's really about making sure that our players know the PGA Tour is the best place to compete and showing them how much the tour appreciates them being loyal. Jason Gore, the tour's chief player officer, said in a video set to be distributed to players. The PGA Tour's player impact program differs from Wednesday's grant award, which will remain under wraps, rewarding players for their marketability rather than this new confidential financial incentive. In a bid to retain loyalty amidst the live golf controversy, the PGA Tour has decided that any player who defects to the rival tour and later wishes to return will not be eligible for the new equity program. The equity distribution sees players categorized into four tiers, with the top echelon, Group 1, comprising 36 players like McElroy, Woods, Scheffler, Justin Thomas, and Jordan Spieth, who will share a staggering 80 percent of an 600 meters pot. Meanwhile, the 64 players in Group 2, consisting of regular tour members and emerging stars, will divide a 60 meters fun. Group 3, featuring 57 players, will split 24 meters, and a fourth group of 36 past legends will be allocated a share of 60 meters based on their historic PGA Tour successes. Email. We use your sign up to provide content in ways you've consented to and to improve our understanding of you. This may include adverts from us and third parties based on our understanding. You can unsubscribe at any time. Read our privacy policy.